Hey everybody, I'm in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, this is Wetmore Road. The airport is just above the edge of this photo. And I got lucky enough to catch a Union Pacific local switching a Home uh, Depot uh, distribution center. So it's just like uh, on, my lay on my layout switching. So uh, I basically filmed pretty much the whole thing. But of course I edited out all the dead spots. But I learned a lot from it. Actually, I'm on uh, Wetmore Road now. <laughs> uh, the airport is on my right. Pretty busy road. Uh, this guy has stopped and the brake off. I don't know what he's getting ready to do. I don't know if he's going to switch the siding. Let's sit here and find out. Pull it up on Google Maps, see if there's anywhere I can get uh, closer to him. But he stopped, so maybe that's the siding uh, right there. Let's see. Okay, it took a while because um, he had the crossing block. This is a Home Depot distribution center. And as I swivel around, he has just picked up those cars right there. Brakeman is over here and they're getting ready to spot these full lumber cars there so I'm going to film this whole operation the brakeman is actually releasing the brakes on the cars that they left on the side pretty good view right where I'm at so he's pulling the whole train up and I don't know if he's doing that because he's got the road cross crossing block down there you can see the uh, conductor walk along beside it so I assume that once he gets up to where the cars he wants to cut are um, right in front of that hopper he'll stop uh, and make the cut and then they'll back all these in this is my type of railroading here I got really lucky to, to find this and there's uh, some uh, fallen flags on this train too. As you can see, there's a Missouri Pacific hopper and there's a bunch of Chicago Northwestern hoppers on here as well. And I think that's a Sioux line car right there. So, uh, got lucky. So you can see the Chicago Northwestern cars. See what he's doing right now, he's setting the brake on the cut of cars. I don't know how many brakes he'll set. Because uh, there's quite a long string of cars down through here. He's setting those two for sure. What's cool about this is uh, very close to my hotel. <laughs> so maybe I'll get a chance to hang out here all week and uh, see some, some trains. I really like the uh, fallen flags. Okay, so he walked down the uh, tracks a little bit, set the brakes on three cars. Now he's uh, waiting for the engineer to pull forward. He just radioed. And they're going to push all those cars into the distribution center. So this is just like something I would do on my layout. So actually I'm learning a lot <laughs> by watching these guys. So I thought 
thought he might ride the car. I guess he's just gonna walk. You can see the switch up there where it says the D, that's the derail. So I'll pick back up when they start coming down this way. And yeah, I'm in Texas and I want uh, no part of this bush, <laughs> which is, uh, there's a bunch of them all along the right of way here. I don't think that's a cactus, but it uh, looks like it would not be fun to get into. Here come the cars down the siding, and he's blocking the crossing. This is a, basically a dead-end road, but uh, still he has to protect the crossing. interesting because these must just be bulkhead flat cars the center beams you have to unload from both sides and uh, this is all going to be unloaded from one side of the off that loading dock there's nowhere on the other side to unload it so uh, that's interesting yeah I'm an idiot <laughs> I'll figure it out here in a minute I don't know why he stopped there he goes again We're not going to get to see the locomotives because we got all the empty cars hooked to the locomotives. Basically, this spur is a whole lot longer than I thought it was, which you'll see here in a minute. I guess we will get to see him. You can forget what I said about the uh, bulkhead flats. This siding is much longer than I thought, as you can see. So there is a place beyond the building where they can get on both sides to unload the cars. I guess the dock is just for box cars. Cut it off till he comes out. Okay, so the conductor has uh, tied down some of the brakes. I couldn't see him all the way. I don't know how many he tied down, but now he's waiting for the engineer to move forward and uh, start pulling back out. signal to move my head. It does have a radio.
can't tell what the conductor is doing. I'm going to stop the video. The cars are separated now, obviously. I don't know if he's maybe putting a blue flag up on the track. It could be it. Maybe I'll be able to see after these cars are out of the way. I don't know if you can see it, but the conductor has uh, some paperwork in his hand. And he's actually logging, like, car numbers and stuff on the paperwork. He's been walking up the whole train and um, stopping. Since they left the uh, cars there, the conductor also had to set the brights on those cars. So that's another thing that took him so long. expect that. They left the empties. I wonder why. So we'll just uh, figure out what's going on here. So they left the empties. And now the conductor is, after he locked, shut and locked the gate, he's uh, walking back up to throw the switch so they can, I guess, head on down the line. First, he's gonna do the derail. And there's the empties, so be interesting to know. If any guys know why they would do this, I don't know. Because those are center beams, so you can't load them from that dock because you can't get to the other side, obviously. So, uh, again, if you, if you have a reason why they would have done that, maybe another train's gonna pick them up. I don't know, let me know. All right, so here come the locomotives back to tie onto the train. And again, he'll have to release three brakes, but I'm not gonna film him doing that. Um, you know, a lot of these guys don't really like <laughs> being filmed while they work so after he couples up I'm just gonna head on. I'll try to head, get ahead of them and uh, see if they're gonna go on down the line and maybe get a shot of the whole train going by. thought he'd have got caught me by now <laughs> but he hasn't this looks a pretty cool place it's campbell humble company signed up here since 1908 and i thought this spur was abandoned but uh, you can pretty clearly see that there are some flange marks in here and actually the spur goes all the way through there's a gate on the other end to another building supply place so i don't know if this place gets stuff by a rail car or not but that other place probably does um, I'll look on Google Earth see if I can see anything on it. But hopefully he'll show up here in a minute and I can get him at speed going by. All right, here are the two places. You can see Campbell Lumber up at the top and uh, the place down at the bottom. Again, there's a gate right there. So these are separate places. The place at the bottom is the one that actually gets the rail surface. So they just pass through Campbell Lumber. So I'm about to call it an evening. Uh, had to get up at 3.30 this morning to get to the airport, so I'm getting tired, I'm going to head back to the hotel and uh, try to put together a video for you guys, but I don't know if you can see that that sign says Mopac Road, so that's this street right ahead of me. This is Wetmore Road right here, and that's the San Antonio Airport right there, so if you like airplanes, a <laughs> good place to come. Uh, I'm assuming this used to be the Missouri Pacific Main Line. Um, of course now, UP. 
So I'll be hanging out here. The hotel is about a mile and a half that way. And uh, I said, I'm traveling with somebody. So I don't know how much time I'll actually have to, to rail fan uh, this trip. So we'll see. I'll get down here where I can look down the road a little bit. Uh, down the line a little bit. So the uh, train that I watched switching earlier today was down that way. So I'm going to close the video here, put this in the last, so everybody stay safe. And I just wanted to add that it took him over an hour to switch that, switch those five cars out and respot the empties. Uh, he had the, the road blocked for over an hour just to do that simple move.